Hi, it's Ted Field. Welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Ted. I have a really great guest today um, from Associated Professionals and Renee Harberts yep. um, is a specialist in helping people review their Medicare, Medicare, all those plans. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to cover today is what should you be looking for and uh, what questions you should ask and all that. So um, I'm excited to get started and, and uh, Renee, welcome. Thank you. It's so good to see you. I've known Renee for many years, and but it was never really clear about what she does. So um, I'm hoping that today Renee is going to make it crystal clear, not just to me, but to all of you that are watching today. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Renee. And uh, again, thanks for tuning in today. Renee, I'd like you to talk to our audience and tell them why they should review and what reasons in their life have changed so much that they should go ahead and review it. Like you said, um, prescription coverage could change. Yes, I had a gentleman just this year who, who got prescribed a new medication, okay? His, his health situation changed. He got prescribed a new drug. It's a new drug. So there's no generics out for it yet. Oh, true. And so as we looked at plans, a number of them didn't even cover that drug. And then as we searched some more and we, we found some more carriers that covered it, the variance in how the cost for that plan, for his drug got covered, was the difference of, of over five thousand dollars a year for one for one medication. That he would save. You're saying he yes. would save save or spend. Yes. Five thousand dollars less. Less. With a different plan. With a different plan. Wow. For one for one drug. Some plans go out of a out of a network, go out of an area. Some plans come in. Can they change some of them will change doctors, prescriptions, dental, I mean all those things, the hot yeah. buttons, correct? Yes. So plans can have like this year, for instance, I said one plan came into to an area. A client of mine's plan got canceled, got completely dropped from an area. So we had to look for her a whole new plan. Okay. So so plans come, they go, they change. Um, the networks within those plans can change. Sure. So last year we had a lot of disruption within the plans. So we had the whole Fairview system pulled out of a carrier's network. So, so your networks, your providers might come and go out of a network. So if you're used to seeing a doctor in a network or you're used to going to a whole healthcare system, and if that gets deleted from your plan, that's a big deal. Sure it is. So, so and if you don't go through the process of reviewing it with a professional, right. um, you, you can find out in January, February that I'm sorry. You, you the, could. This is not covered anymore. Exactly. Now everybody does get an annual notice of change. They're required. Okay. But for the most part, those probably go in the circular file. Well, it's too much detail. Too much I'll get detail. to it later. And you know, it seems the plan that I have is fine. Yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. That, that's what people think. But I'm so surprised when, because I knew it was a lot, but I was surprised when you said 71% of the people just stay where they are. They don't review their plans. Right. They don't anticipate any changes, even though their life has changed. It is kind of more how the plans themselves change okay. than what it is necessarily the, the person changing. Oh, I see. So, so the plans change. Oh, see, I'm thinking if my condition changed, I should automatically change to a different plan, but that's not what you're saying. Yeah, well, that might be a reason. I mean, okay. that is a reason. Okay. But in addition to that, the plans themselves change and how the, how the insurance companies um, cover benefits changes. So your, your costs to use the plans might change. So like co-insurance, Co-pays, for instance, when you go to see a doctor or a, um, let's just say a doctor because that's easy for everybody to understand. So you go to see your physician and maybe you pay a $5 copay to go see your physician, right? Right. But that could change next year. 
it could go maybe maybe it's now twenty dollars or maybe there's no copay. So so the plans themselves change and they add or subtract benefits too. So a lot of the reason that people really love Medicare Advantage plans are for the perks, for the extra right. things. And so one that's really important to to a lot of people is dental. Yes. I would love to have dental coverage. Yes. Well, a lot of them, most Medicare Advantage plans do have dental coverage. Is that okay? Let me ask you just a quick question. If I don't have dental coverage now, but I got my teeth cleaned this morning and yeah. I've got one, <clears throat> would this be the time? Should I be looking at a different plan that would maybe cover me uh, for dental? A lot that's important to a lot of people and that's a lot of it, it is a one of the number one reasons why people look at a medicare advantage plan is for the dental coverage okay. hearing coverage and vision coverage and, really yep and different plans have more so every plan will have an allowance for that they'll they'll maybe there's fifteen hundred dollars worth of coverage dental coverage on one plan Maybe there's a thousand dollar coverage on another plan, or maybe there's five hundred dollars worth of coverage on another plan. Typically, it will cover your routine um, cleanings and, and X-rays, and then you'll have comprehensive coverage included. So, like your crowns, bridges. Wow, that's amazing. What if I have a pre pre-existing condition, which I obviously do? I've got burn right here. Well, Medicare Advantage plans do not discriminate about pre-existing conditions. Okay. Well, so, that's good so, to know too. So it, is, it is good to know. Wow. I mean, uh, you are a totally independent agent. I am. So does that mean you can work with any company that you want? It means that I can work with any carrier, any company that I am licensed with. So I have to become licensed with all the different carriers that I want to work with. And are you? I am licensed with all the major carriers in, in this area. What would it cost somebody, if I came in here and made an appointment with you, Renee, and said, here's my current plan, would it cost me any money for have you review it? It would not. There's there's not a fee. So no cost, no obligation. No cost, no obligation. How can you beat no cost, no obligation? You I can't. ask you now. You can't. <laughs> no. So so you'll get good advice. We'll get a good review. We get paid as 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 um insurance agents specializing in Medicare by the carrier. Right. So we get paid just the same as when you work with your homeowners or your auto insurance. Yes. The insurance carrier pays that agent. The Medicare carrier pays us too. So Got that's, it. How, that's how we get paid. Wow, that's really clarified a lot of things for me. I know you were a financial planner for many years. Yep. Why did you switch over? Well, ooh, that's, a, that's a really good question. So, so as a financial planner, I really learned the importance of having a plan for your health insurance and for your health care costs in retirement. So when I decided that I wanted to make a change from that industry, it was really just a natural sure. for me to come into the health insurance and really help people understand the costs associated with their health insurance. and and to understand the plans themselves. So as we know, the costs of healthcare are skyrocketing. Yes. And understanding health insurance and Medicare specifically is highly confusing. People don't understand it. I don't. And, and people don't understand even when you ask them what they have, what, what kind of plan they have, they don't understand that. Right. And so for me, one of my favorite things about this business is really helping people understand what they have, how it works, and take the confusion away. Because I am really big on thinking that people are smart and that they will make good choices for themselves if they understand. If their choices are given to them. If choices are given and they understand what those choices are and how they can make them work for them. So yeah. that's, that's really my love of this. I know. Is, is I love to help people understand so that they can make better choices for that themselves. Is, and when people understand, they do make better course. choices. So would you say you love your job? 
I love my job. Yeah. There's little pieces of it that I don't. Yeah, well, we all have those, <laughs> but, don't we? But in general, I love working with people. I love helping people understand, and I help people make better choices. And I think I'm pretty good at that. Wonderful. If you had to add one more thing to our conversation today, what would it be? It would be, don't listen to everything on, that you hear on TV. Don't, don't listen to your neighbors, friends, families, recommendations, because chances are they don't understand and you will get a lot of misunder, misinformation and that can have you choose the wrong the wrong plan right. the wrong the wrong choice for you right. so probably the most important thing that I would say is to consult with a broker an independent broker such as myself or, or there's there's other good brokers out there besides me too. But, but work with the independent, work with the local broker. If you call those those numbers on television, chances are you'll get routed to a call center. Right, I'm sure. And do you remember how I said that plans are per area for your service area where you live? Well, those people won't know what plans are specifically in your area. Of course not, yeah. Your area. How could they know all that? They won't, and they won't be next year when you call in either. The, the person you talk to will be gone. But if you work with an a independent broker locally, I'm here for you all year. I'll help you choose a plan. I'll stay with you through the year to answer your questions, to help you navigate with the insurance company itself. I'll be here for you to review the next year and, and help educate you. It's not just a one-time education. We still have questions. At the end of this video, uh, Renee's information will appear, as will mine, if I can help. But reach out to Renee. I think uh, this is a great time to do it. And boy, if you can save money but get more benefits, I don't know what the problem is there. Uh, that, it's a win. It can be a win. And the other thing is if we review it and we come away and say, you know what, I don't think you should make any changes, that's a win-win too. Of course it is. So yeah. then you go away knowing I got the best possible plan out there for me. That's, and it costs me comfort. nothing to have it reviewed. It costs you nothing to have it reviewed, and that's very uh, comforting. So, so we This went. is great information. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. on today. Honestly, I had to change a few people around. This is such a current event that I wanted it to come out now. It's, uh, what is it, the yeah. 9th of November or it whatever. And they have, people it, have until. And they have. From, it goes from October 15th to December 7th. So December 7th is coming up quick. Yeah. So these are your times when you can make changes, okay. shop your plans, your Medicare Advantage and your Part D, make changes, add, drop. So, so don't delay. Don't delay. If you're curious at all, please don't delay. Please don't delay. Thank you again for coming on. I'll see you next Tuesday. And you have a great week. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks, Ted. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thanks.